Hello, everyone, and uh, welcome back to the Tim 302 podcast. Uh, once again, my name is Julian Inahosa, and uh, today's topic will be covering summer jobs. Um, so this summer, I went back to my hometown of San Rafael, California, and uh, since I was going to be spending most of my summer at home, I decided to uh, return to my old high school job as a lifeguard rather than... Um, you know, laying around or trying to find something new within a a short time period. Um, And just because I had some upcoming expenses to plan for before the uh, uh, returning to Hawaii. So a little bit of background about my job is that I was first certified as a lifeguard when I was about 15 years old and going into my sophomore year of high school. And this job suited me really well. And just appeal to my personality in general. Um, Not everyone's cut out to be a lifeguard, I think. Um, But ever since I was a kid, I've loved swimming and just being around water. Um, In fact, I even learned um, how to sail and uh, joined my uh, high school swim team when I was a freshman. Since I loved aquatics and because I was such a strong swimmer, it was really an easy decision when deciding whether to become a lifeguard or get a job in retail or something like most of my friends at the time did. Um, And another added benefit was that the recreation and pool center that I worked at was no more than a five minute drive from my house. So conveniency was a big plus. Um, I would say that many people are really blissfully unaware of the importance that lifeguards play um, when an emergency occurs at the pool. The job of a lifeguard can be really stressful and at times because there's simply a lot of responsibility um, that's put in your hands. And I don't think it's an understatement when I say um, that very literally Um, you are the difference between life and death and you have lives in your hand. um, The process of becoming a certified lifeguard is no easy task as well. Um, The initial certification was a a two-week class that involved both in water um, and out of water uh, skills training that a lifeguard would be expected to know in the event of a large emergency situation, such as um, a spinal injury, um, to small accidents such as a bee sting or even a stub toe. The training that I underwent was tedious, and mastering my in-water skills took a large amount of uh, patience and uh, practice. Every rescue um, that a lifeguard performs is different, and it requires you to understand how to recognize different symptoms in a victim and how to respond properly. Uh, A drowning victim will be approached um, a lot differently than a spinal victim will be approached. Um, And part of the uh, skills training involves being able to make those decisions quickly and become familiar with the emergency action plan um, of various scenarios. At my pool, the most important role of any lifeguard is scanning the water right in front of you on no less than a 10 second interval so that swimmers can be accounted for um, and that no emergency happens without a lifeguard responding to it within those uh, 10, 10 to 20 seconds of initial recognition. However, there are many auxiliary tasks that we as lifeguards must perform on a daily basis. Um, And the assignment of tasks is based on hierarchy. Some guards are more seasoned than others, and so they have titles such as supervisor and lead guard. Um, And about two years ago, I was promoted to the position of lead lifeguard. And in this role, uh, I simply have a little bit more responsibility than a regular guard on staff. Uh, 
In this role, I act as basically the second in command to the supervisor on duty at the time um, and help in any way possible. Um, for example, some of these tasks might be to um, restock the bathrooms or clean the bathrooms. Um, in, in addition to some more customer service based tasks, such as checking uh, patrons in, uh, selling ice cream and snacks. Um, but the most important role of a lifeguard um, is ensuring the safety of every patron that walks through those doors.